Hey guys, this is Telev2. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make a realistic keycap model by using Autodesk Inventor, like this. As you see, they are cylindrical keycaps and steps scripted with various sizes. Please be careful that this model is not for real production. Therefore, I recommend you to use this model just for your realistic, which means not real, rendering purpose. However, this could be a good starting point to make your own profile keycap, which could be real in the future, maybe. Here's our plan. Make a one unit sized keycap. Once you've done that, make a copy of it and modify some dimensions for other keycaps, which have different sizes and different steps. For example, a 1.5 unit sized keycap in row 2 for the tap key or a 2.75 unit sized keycap in row 4 for right shift key. Alright, let's get started. Create a new part file in Inventor in millimeters. After you create a new part file, make a sketch on the XY plan rectangle in this option make 19.05 millimeters by 19.05 millimeters 19.05 millimeters is equivalent to 3 quarter inches then make them construction lines Once again, draw a rectangle like this and be careful that this vertex is not supposed to be on the diagonals. Our next step is to specify the margins. Click dimension or press D key and specify 0.525. Here again. 0.525 and then draw the section of the stem make a circle with 5.5 diameter and make it cross 1.24 millimeters once again 4 millimeters and 1.2 millimeters press enter that's it finish sketch next step is to make another sketch for your keycap profile on the yz plane and project this line and this line into your sketch plane and then draw lines like this see and then specify some dimensions like this line is always 14 millimeters and the angle between this line and this line is always fixed as 85 degrees and the height of this vertex and this vertex too As a reference, I got this image from internet and in this tutorial, I will use this dimensions 7.2 and 7.7 .7. 7.2 and 
7.7 okay and for later use draw a line in the midpoint of the this line see the grid dot and draw a line and then make them perpendicular like this plus make it as a construction line and finish okay and then make a walk plane perpendicular to this line and through this line this point so i make walk plane one and for our convenience flip normal flip normal and make another one click this and perpendicular to this line and through this point so i make this to walk plane right and add another sketch on the walk plane number one and make a rectangular sorry project this line and this point to the sketch plane as a reference and make a rectangle like this see in addition to this project this line and specify margins on the top three point eight two five and use this constraint coincident constraint click this line and this vertex like this see all right then finish sketch now we're gonna use loft click loft and sections click to add select a sketch this click this profile and click to add this sketch and then press ok good then we will add another sketch on walk plane 2 press f7 for session view and add an arc before we add it project click project geometry click this line and this line to make a reference point and add an arc like this and put geometry this upper plane make a dimension like this 0 0.542 and finish sketch and extrude
this profile this profile no this profile and click cut and make all in both direction okay and then hide work plane one and two because we don't need them anymore hide sketch two click fillet click variable and select one edge start 0 0.3 and 1.5 click to add here start 0 0.3 and 1.5 and click ok add one more fillet on this loop radius is 0 0.3 ok next we will use shell remove faces click remove faces here and thickness is 1.5 click OK and then we have one last operation turn on the visibility of sketch 1 and click extrude and select this profile extends to next hmm click OK and hide sketch one again that's it now we finish one unit sized keycap on row with the queue and let's save this on the desktop I name it as keycap one u in row two save it if you want different size keycap other than one unit double click the sketch one and then here if I want to make 1.5 unit sized keycap put multiply 1.5 and press enter and finish Cool. If you want to change the profile, double click sketch 2 and change the size of this like 6.2, 7.0. Here, 6.2, 7.0. Finish. The profile is changed. That's it. Let's save as one point five unit in row three. Save. Thank you for watching this video and if you have some questions, please leave a comment. See you next time. Bye.